Welcome back to Equip Yourself Life Skills. Today, I'm gonna cover uh, various net sizes and uh, why I make uh, so many different types of nets. Uh, there are only slight modifications from, from one net to the other, but I make them in various lengths as well. Here, I have a, uh, a two-foot net that I've made for my granddaughter right here. It's a little two-foot net so that uh, she has the ability to learn how to throw a net and uh, be effective with it as well. I don't want to give her something that's that's too difficult for her to use. This one also is a two and a half foot net made for another one of my granddaughters. Uh, they love to fish and uh, they're always excited to do new and different things. So I've made these nets. You can also notice that uh, I've powder coated their lead weights and their swivels as far as the as as well as the thimbles uh according to their favorite colors so i've got a two foot two and a half foot three foot three and a half four and four and a half foot net here so i have a total of six nets here uh so that you can see that uh in your application you may find that different sizes will be more effective for what you're actually going to do. Uh, they're all slightly different. Uh, the mesh size on all of these are pretty close to the exact same size on the mesh size. Uh, these were hanging from their lead line uh, after I let them dry. Uh, I let them drip, drip dry first and then I let them start to dry and then I'll hang, hang them from their lead line. And so what's happening here is, is the uh, uh, dip that I used is causing them to uh, hold their mesh open, uh, which in time as they hang the way these have, they'll, they'll look the sa exact same way in time. So uh, you have a lot of options as far as your lead. If you're concerned about using actual lead, casting your own weights, uh, the problem with some people is they feel like uh, uh, they're gonna be exposed to some type of toxin uh, from the lead. Well, if that's the case, use all the protections or have someone cast your weights for you and have them powder coat them or you powder coat them if, if, if you have those concerns. Uh, there's tons of methods for casting. You can go back to my videos and you can see how I cast my own lead uh, sinkers for the bottom of these lead lines and stuff. Uh, you can also go and uh, make the nets uh, for your specific purpose from top to bottom, from whatever, whatever you decide you want to do with a net, uh, you can customize the uh, handmade net and they'll last a lifetime. This is one of the nets, this three and a half footer here is one of the nets that I made when I was between 14 and 15 years old. Now this net's been through a lot. Uh, it's been patched and repaired, uh, many, many times. It's been redipped many times. And in my videos, my previous videos, it'll show you that a net properly taken care of and uh, you, you do your repairs when they're needed and you redip the net whenever it needs to be redipped. And that net will give you a lifetime of performance. Okay, I hope this gives you a little expansion on uh, all the options that you may have uh, for making cast nets for yourself and for family members or for whatever purpose you need. This particular net right here I made that goes in my uh, get home bag, go bag, uh, bug out bag, whatever you might call it. It's all, it's done in OD green. The swivel and uh, uh, thimble is also done in OD green. I, I did a video on this, this cast net previously. You can go back and check that as well. I hope this provides a little more expansion on the things that you may have in mind to uh, use your skills that you can learn from my channel. Thanks for watching.